Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today I'm going to take you along on a project and uh, the customer wants me to install five of these. Now they're just nice looking uh, door handles. So what the customer did was they installed this wall to wall, floor to almost ceiling of uh, white cabinets and uh, well they want me to put the uh, handles on. And how do you put the handles on fast easy and exactly spaced the proper way height width it is so easy to do today i'm going to show you we're going to go on location and the only thing i got to bring with me is that uh, blanket just to protect their table because i'm going to be working off of their table and uh, underneath that blanket next week's project so let's go on location let's take a look and see how easy it is to put on some door handles okay so here we are inside and there's the wall-to-wall -wall cabinet there. I've already installed these ones here. I gotta install one more over there. And uh, I'm just gonna show you what it all takes. All you need is, well, I just got a couple of drills, two different sizes. One is, uh, first of all, you gotta put a pilot hole in first, which would be this one. And the second one here is this diameter of the, uh, the uh, fastener that's gonna go through the uh, wooden panel. A little bit of a jig here and your uh, bit to fasten these in. So that's all you really need and uh, if we just take a look at this bit of a jig I've got here. Now anybody can make one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the holes first then I'm going to show you how this was made but all I asked the customer to do was just send me over one of the handles first now this is just a scrap piece of PVC and it goes across like this and you can see it sits there and this one sits there. All I have is just the tape for an identifier and what they wanted was in the middle of this particular slot and in the middle from here to here. So you can see that's where the middle is, right? And this is where I got one hole here, one hole here, and then I got my small little bar clamps holding it on. So let's just drill the two holes, put the handle on, and I'll tell you how easy it is. You can make one of these yourself and install it fast and accurately. Okay, so the first one I'm going to put through here is just the pilot hole. And you always drill from the outside in never the other way because a lot of times if you're drilling from the other side well you'll get a lot of breakaway on the other side of your drill bit when you're drilling through it. Okay so let's go on to the uh, size of the uh, the faster that's going to hold the uh, the handle on. Now the reason why I I drill through with two different sizes is because, well, you're going to have a lot of breakage on the outside, you know, of the other side of the hole, and this makes it a lot easier and a lot accurate when, uh, after you do so many holes, if you have a bigger drill bit, well, it'll start to waller out these holes here. So you're better off just to go with a pilot hole first and then go through with the same diameter as the fastener used to hold the handle on. Okay, so let's just take it off and take a look. I mean these little bar clamps are just incredible for this type of work and uh, there you go right there nice perfectly spaced holes and uh, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what the handle looks like on okay so there we are so I got them all installed so this took me about 20 minutes to do the whole thing just line them up and uh, the longest time is putting on the handles and uh, they're all on there spaced evenly, proper height, just like the customer wanted. So how can you make one of these jigs? Well, I'll tell you something. A little bit of a, a scrap piece here. I showed you how that went. And all this is, is just a couple of clamps. You could just use like a scrap piece of wood at either end. The tape is so easy to put on. And on these particular... Uh, door handles they're exactly eight inches so all I did was measure eight inches 
Then of course this is the center mark here with the four and uh, lined it up so that it corresponds with the spacing of these cross panels and directly center into each one of the uh, vertical panels. And it, it's so easy to do. Now could you imagine trying to line that all up yourself and measure each one? You'd be there for hours, I guarantee you. And uh, I just thought I'd show you here, this is the uh, all the different uh, sections that go inside for all the different cupboards at different heights and you know for storage and all that kind of stuff. So there you go right there. Now was that easy or what? Okay, I'm back. And that is about the easiest way I could explain how to put multiple door handles on. If you have to just put one handle on, well, you can just put marks on it. But I will tell you something, a little bit of a tip here. If you're looking at a lot of these type of white finished cabinets, you just take your regular pencil and put a mark on sometimes. You'll never get that mark out until you get right down to the base wood. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, I don't know what they're spraying these cabinets with, but sometimes a lead pencil, you'll have a hard time getting that, uh, that pencil mark out. So you don't really want to be putting a whole bunch of big marks all over the place, you know, like you like you've seen on this on this story storyboard, I guess they call it, right? So I mean, anybody can just get a scrap piece of wood and just uh, make one of these. So uh, hopefully next time you're putting some door handles on, you'll think about this. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back and see some interesting things that I do that hopefully you find interesting as well. Cheers.